Good evening. Welcome to Tuesday Night Live. What is up, everybody? Come on in the house. DD5 member for five months. Thanks for being one of the greatest men I've met. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe you ain't met very many men, but I appreciate that so much there, uh, Mike and Lissa. I'm pretty sure that's Mike right there. <laughs> uh, Cuddly Texan, what is going on? Charlene Grady is in the house. The Moran Experience. Hello, all. Kelly and Renee here. Gloria Butler is here. Hello from NL Canada. Well, good to have you in here. I bet it's cold up there. Lonely Hitchhiker Kent. Howdy, howdy, y'all. Lumpy Burke is in the house. And Deanne with the loud and clear. Got to have that to begin. Hello, Auntie Anne. Love you so much. Lila Newton. Hope you're doing well with all the member emojis in there. Drew's Lens. Hello. K62. Grape is here. Crazy John is in the house. But Nuggets Homestead has come around. 50 people in here, guys. 20 thumbs up. Thank you very, very much. Anime Beatman. Hello, hello. Butler Family Farm is in the house. Was just on there live last night. Hopefully you didn't miss that. I got to be about, about 15, 20 minutes. Was very, very fun. Back to good. Hello, hello. Come on in. Crazy John with the member emojis. Thank you very, very much. Dot Roper is in here. Paul Honeyman. Brother from across the pond, Dot Roper, Heather Hopper, hello, hello. Brian Wilkerson, hope you're doing well this evening. Guys, it's cold out there. Well, it's going to get colder. I'll tell you that right now. It is windy. It is crazy weather. That is for sure. Paul Honeyman says, hey, Ann, to Auntie Ann. Got to love when the moderators come together because they take care of you. That's for sure. What did we get here from David Moffat? David Moffat gifted 10 Ridge Life memberships. Thank you, David, for the membership gift to all the family. Thank you very much. Ten, at least. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate that so, so much. Let's see. Living the Dream says, hey, hey, y'all. Come on in. Maybe even a Dozer video, guys. Dozer video. <sighs> Lots going on. I can't wait to tell you about what we got going on tonight. There's a, there is a lot. I mean, beans are spilling everywhere. If you saw my uh, last rambling Beans are spilling everywhere. That is for sure. Sheila Tubbs, hello, hello. Come on in. Lori Larkin, minus four there in Saskatchewan. Oh, wow. McAllister Homestead, Tim, dozer video. <laughs> Susan Spencer, Ridge Life. Hey, Tim, Susan Scott Spencer here. Hello, hello. Just talked to you a little bit on um, Face a Bookie, uh, the messenger there a little bit earlier, I saw. Liam McGothigan. Hope you're doing well. Love that name. Oh, my goodness. Love that name so much. Cuddly Texan. It's cold in the control room. Cindy Brown was gifted a membership by David Moffat. Nice to have you in here, Miss Cindy Brown. Glenn and Shannon Salty Life. Hello, hello. Midnight Adventures. Canal Foot Fix. What a name. Awesome. Nice to have you in here so, so much. Let's see what else we got going on down in the, the chat. How's it going, Mike Birch, says Drifting Dreamers 5. Um, it is the wind, guys. Last night, the wind was crazy. We lost power to the camper today, and uh, I got home from work, and uh, um, I don't keep the propane heater going. I keep a little space heater with the thermostat set to 60 degrees. And when I got home, because the power went off, the pro, the, 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 the space here was off. And it was cold in here. I'm talking cold. Pappy Smurf. Hey, Tim. Ridge Life coming from the Grady's. Love me some It's All Grady, guys. I uh, usually uh, sit in there live uh, before mine starts. Get as much of that in as I can. I appreciate them doing the love right over here. So all you guys. 116 people in here. 41 thumbs up. Thanks for coming in. Ray Hoffine, hello, hello. Leon Miller, I'm praying I can find, ooh, where'd it go? Where'd Leon Miller go? There it go. Oh, no. Uh, stop wasting time spilling beans, Tim. Playing one hour a week of that dozer work would have been finished by now. I could, of course, finish it. I told you my plan is to progressively output the video with content of similar make and quality. And right now, my quality is not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I take that back. I got a couple of really good videos out recently. Who liked the Framily Christmas visit videos? Oh my goodness. I uh, had the Framily Christmas celebration there at the uh, uh, Mount Magazine State Park Lodge. Then I went to um, uh, 
uh, uh, Country Road Cures house. I went to uh, uh, Simple Life Reclaim's house. Then I went to uh, Come On Homestead's house. Then I went to DD5's house. We had a great, great time. I love those videos. Those were, you know, those were amazing because I got to be there. It was fun. Uh, Midnight Adventures. Tim can be. It's just, I uh, bet it's just uh, cold as it's not, on. I mean, yeah, not near as cold in Ontario, Canada. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. No. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see that one comment I missed. Um, well, we frozen here, DD5. Um, I had this much ice in the bird feeder in front of Grandma Carol's uh, the other day when I was walking around doing my ramblings. If you missed that ramblings, you missed some beans of spilling, that's for sure. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Drew's Lens here from It's All Grady. Thank you, Drew. Drew also posted the link, link over there and directed everyone to come over here. So thank you for that, Drew. So to DD5, thank you very, very much. Back to good. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming in this evening. Lots of stuff, fun stuff to talk about tonight. I've got my list right here, the one that David uh, makes fun of me of. You make the list, the list are for losers. Loser, loser. <laughs> well, David, at least I didn't forget it, so. I still may forget it. Who knows? Um, so yeah, I was on Butler Farm, uh, Family Farm, uh, last night at 5:45 before David went live. Um, I can only be there about 15, 20 minutes, and I had to go out and do some things. And I came back and was in their live and uh, David's live both, and had a good time in both of them. Very, very, very much. So thank you, Butler Family Farm, for allowing me to come into your live stream last night. That was very, very fun. Who likes my shirt? The Dad Alorian from The Mandalorian. The best dad in the galaxy. Thank you. My daughter, Alyssa, got this for me for Christmas. Thank you very much. It's one of those performance shirts. It's real soft. Ooh, the dad Alorian. That's me. Who watches the Mandalorian? I'm a, I'm a geek. I definitely am a geek. Uh, let's see what else we got going on in the chat tonight. Tundra Jason is in the house. Hello, hello. Brooke Burke. Hello. Wanda Henry. Thanks for coming in this evening. Mm-mm-mm. Michigan Life about the 45th Parable. Sweet shirt. Awesome show. Yes, it is. I hear they're making a movie. Grogu and um, the Man Mando are going to be in a movie. I can't wait for that. I love love these guys. Robert F. Lamoth Jr. About the VA here in uh, CT is great. You're going to like it. Awesome. Um, can't wait to go up there. That's for sure. I really, really can't. Charlene Grady. Hello to White Rock Homestead. Hello, White Rock Homestead. Love me some White Rock, guys. They got some really, really good things going on up there at their place. Uh, Susan Spencer. Hey, White Rock. Tamar. Or no. Messed it up. Jason and Tara. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. Ding, ding, ding. Two old people on the couch are in here. What's up, Mark and Debbie? Thanks for coming in. Cully Texan. Did you hear the news? The next season of Mandalorian is canceled so they can do a movie. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know they canceled the season, though. Oh man, I thought they were going to do a season and the movie. Oh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of upset about that. Um, but yeah, I, I only heard the one part of it. Leon Miller, I wasn't really working, but I was helping people push their vehicles that were stuck in the snow. I had took my gloves off on the road, so when the plows came, though through, that I'm sure they went a flying. <laughs> I bet they did. Anabor is in here. Thanks for coming in there, Anabor. 143 people, 68 thumbs up at this point. Thank you very, very much. Um, guys. It's been a crazy, crazy ride. 2023, um, just, okay, who's texting me? My brother. Um, 2023 was highs and lows forever. I'm talking the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Um, yeah, the beginning of the year saw, saw great change. You know, I moved from the big farmhouse, uh, hooked up the camper, left the farmhouse for the very last time last year, just, just after this time right now. Uh, came back here, parked it next to Grandma Carol's log home, and uh, been moving forward ever since. It's been a slow move. I, 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 you know, uh, before 2023, man, I used to kick out 10, 11, 12, 13 videos a week. Big news for 2024. Tim's pregnant. I feel like I'm pregnant. I just ate uh, um, bean with bacon soup and three grilled cheese sandwiches. Mm. Good thing Ginger ain't in the camper tonight. Then bean with bacon soup. I'll be singing some songs tonight, if you know what I'm saying. Um, 
I'm glad you're smiling, brother Tim. Thank you, Drew. I appreciate you, man. Um, so yeah, I, I've not, I've, I've taken it slow. I've taken um, things crazy. I've came came back to reality. Um, bought a new truck, got a new motorcycle. You know, I already went through a midlife crisis. You know, a while back when I got my Ducati and all that stuff. So I, I'll pass midlife crisis. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I got great friends, uh, Drew and 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 uh, David and Melanie and Gary, Anthony and Roxanne. You know, uh, just so many, so many good friends. And it really helped help me get me through it. And then, of course, then I met Jen Jen, right? And uh, life's been amazing. I got Grandma Carol, of course. I got my kids. Uh, did some super, super fun things this summer. But, guys, 2024 is the year to get back to it, okay? 2024 is the year to get back to it. I know I work a lot, and it makes uh, you know putting out videos a, a little more difficult. And um, so I, you don't get the 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 quantity and quality of content you do some of the, some, some of the other family, but uh, I'm going to try a lot more. And uh, I think this year you're going to be really, really happy with what's coming on. Kentucky bluegrass living. Good evening. And howdy, howdy. Well, thanks for coming in. Dawn. Hello, Dawn. Love you so much. Appreciate you being here. Uh, Big way of Florida. How is your reaction to the medicine doing? Well, I, uh, Got the uh, prednisone to react, or to counteract the prednisone is a steroid, to counteract the 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 uh, allergic reaction to the uh, antibiotic, and it's still itching, believe it or not. Um, I'm, I'm a few days into it, and one of the side effects, I'm hoping it's a side effect, is blood pressure. My blood pressure's gone up. And I don't know, does prednisone do that, guys? Does a steroid make your blood pressure go up? Because um, I'm on blood pressure medicine, and I was hoping to actually get lowered on my dosage of blood pressure medicine. But then when I went in to get the prednisone, oh, uh, and uh, my blood pressure's going up. So, um, yeah, A says yes. Okay, so, um, you know, a lot of stress going on right now, but um, a lot of it's good stress. Uh, Paul says, yes, steroids does increase blood pressure. Okay, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Uh, that makes a lot of sense because I, I got the blood pressure medicine. I went in for the follow-up, and my blood pressure is higher than normal. And uh, she said, keep taking it, you know, until we uh, until all this stuff goes away. Uh, Michigan Life of the 45th, yeah, steroids can affect blood pressure. Uh, Tundra Jason, yeah, I feel like this year is going to be life-changing for me. Actually, I'm pretty sure it will be. I'm pretty sure it will, Jason. I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, yeah, I hope you're feeling better there too, Paul Honeyman. Thank you, Charlene Grady. Appreciate you. And uh, White Rock says, Tara says yes. So I appreciate all that because I just took my, you know, took my blood pressure before we started here. And, you know, got to take it before I come on because once it comes on, boom. Kentucky Bluegrass Living, too much Coke Zero, now more delicious. It will affect your sugar too, yep. David Moffat, my girlfriend is on two types of high blood pressure medicine and still whack. Yeah, I'm on uh, amlodipine, which was giving me secondary to Lozartan. And I wasn't on any of them until a year ago. Uh, then the uh, Red uh, Blue Heart, or the Heart um, Association, whatever, changed the definition of, of what's uh, hypertensive. And I was 140 over 90 for like six years, eight years. And now 140 over 90 is uh, high blood pressure or hypertensive. So now I'm on the medication. Radio Jonesy on tour. Dr. Jonesy here says we take a teaspoon of cement. Well, mm, cement. Not sure I want to, I want, not sure I want any cement. Ace T Mike D. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate you very much. Cindy Ellis, my dad could not take prednisone. He would swell and break out in hives. Um, you see my face is starting to swell a little bit. Uh, Jen Jen said, you're swelling up. You're swelling up. I was, yeah, I know. She, well, she said I was going to. Um, just joking, Tim. Take care, brother. No problem, man. No problem. Uh, David Moffat comes from too much blood in your alcohol system. Not sure that's how that works, but <laughs> I'm not a very big drinker, man. I, I really, I, you know, I drink uh, uh, socially. That's about it. Brian Wilkerson, my phone is 22% and power is out. Oh, no, Brian. Yeah, the power went out here today, and the, the space heater went off in the camper, and I got home from work, and it was chilly in here. It was chilly. It wasn't frozen. Uh, th things didn't freeze. But uh, Lila Newton says, member for 28 months, life, li live life and love in 2024. Amen, sister. Amen. Absolutely. Paul Honeyman, my last medical blood pressure was the best it's been in 44 years. 102 over 70. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's definitely not that. 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, Don Hat Creek sent hi to everybody. And uh, well, guys, I did uh, have fun on Butler Family Farms live the other night. And uh, of course, David's live was, was fun as well. Um, I think I've got the camper water figured out, but then things are going to change. So, you know, you know, I, uh, I, I took four inch insulation and wrapped it all around the bottom of the camp camper four inch. That's the, uh, grandma Carol's log cabin roof is two of those four inch insulation panels with wood up above and below. So I took one of those four inch insulation panels and I wrapped it all around the bottom of the camper. And that really has helped keep the floor warmer. And it also keeps the tank that's under the camper warm as well and the pump and the valve valve and everything so i think what happened the other day when it when it froze up on me i vapor locked it i filled the tank too much and uh then i had pressure on one side of the little sensor that allows the pump to turn on because one day when it wasn't that cold i filled the tank up and it did the same thing so what i found is keep the tank not not 100 percent full and with that underpinning with that insulation under the camper I've had water all this week, even though it's been down below freezing half the time. Um, but the big difference is, guys, this next week, coming up Sunday, we're getting three to five inches of rain. Minus three degrees is going to be the real temperature on Monday night. It's going to be 11 in the daytime, 14, 19, and a minus, one, minus three, zero, four. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be cold, so I will. I don't care if I have underpinning on this thing or not. You're not having. You're not having. You're not having running water in a camper trailer at minus three. Tundra Jason just became a Ridgeite. All the members, please show Tundra Jason his new emojis. I do appreciate that. Let's see what those member emojis look like. Crazy John, thank you very much. Actually, Tundra Jason just updated his membership. That's right, buddy. Ooh, thank you, man. I appreciate you. Um. Susie Jacobson with the member emojis. Thank you very much. Back to good with the member emojis. Thank you very much. Yeah, Jin Jin, Jin there's Jin Jin. Hey, sissy. Um, my pretty girl. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Jin Jin, have you thought about this weekend and the weather? It's supposed to snow Sunday and Monday. We, we, may, we may have to not see each other every day. Otherwise, are you, take, are you calling sick uh, snow day? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, T Mike D Sunday minus 11 for the high minus 18 for the low. No, no, thank you. No, thank you very much. Lumpy Burke with the member emojis. Thank you. And Evelyn Newman. Thank you. And Pappy Smurf. Thank you very much. Lila Newton, of course. Mm -hmm. Who else we missed there? I missed someone else and drifting dreamers five. Thank you, Mike and Lissa. Appreciate that. Um, Glenn and Shannon Salty Life says, I battled keeping water from the freezing before in a camper before. Didn't always win. Yeah, I know I ain't, I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't doing too good on that, that, that front. Paul Honeyman, Tim needs to get spikes for the beast. Oh, I might get some chains. Whenever I go up to New York and Canada, I might bring some chains with me. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Um, Jennifer says, yes, we'll have some bad weather soon. Yes, baby. I know. I know. I'm not looking forward to it. Karen Herkey. Hey, Tim, everyone listening, but busy. Goodness gracious. Karen almost lost power. She said her lights been flickering and it's got snow on the ground up there. It's like three to five inches an hour or something like that. Karen has it going on weather wise. Oh, Paul Honeyman. Wow, Tim. Ridge Life. I've been telling you for at least 10 minutes to say hi to Jen Jen. I didn't see her. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. I did say someone, I see someone, I saw you mention her, but I didn't see her pop up there. Uh, the, major, the emojis in the live chat comments have gone wacky on me. YouTube hates me. I'm Andy Ann, isn't that crazy? And I, I do not like that little heart thing. That little heart thing gets in the way of the comments and you can't see the chat. I just don't like that little heart thing. You can hit the heart thing as many times as you want. But uh, it, I, see right there. Thank you very much. But I don't know. Uh, I don't really know what the benefit, you know, it's really cool. The hearts. It doesn't tell me who's doing it, though. Um, it's just weird. Just really weird. But thank you. Uh, it's supposed to get down to 29 on Thursday, says Tundra Jason. 29. 29. Goodness gracious. Um, so, yeah, guys, um, super, super cold. Minus three here. So definitely not going to have any water. Probably going to have to drain uh, the hot water heater. 
and uh, get the low water drains. I've had, I forgot to do the low, low water drain one time and it burst. And that was not good. Not this year though. Uh, Mark Robinson, $10, get a haircut with this. <laughs> Only enough for a half haircut. I definitely need a haircut guys. This, um, this is, I don't like it this long. Uh, Jin Jin agrees. Uh, get a haircut. So I will get a haircut. Thank you for the $10, Mark Robinson. I will uh, make me an appointment tomorrow. Uh, not, not a haircut tomorrow. I'll make an appointment tomorrow because it takes a while to get into I used to always cut my own hair I, and then I was in the Navy and I, I cut my own hair for about 30 years. And it was really only in the last five or 10 years that I started going to get a haircut. Uh, but yeah, for about 30 some odd years, I always cut my own hair and uh, it's probably a reason I shouldn't. <laughs> Susie Jacobson. Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming in. Um, let's see. Uh, With that snow coming this weekend, three to five inches of snow, who's ever went deer hunting in the snow? Guys, I was talking to Gary from Simple Life Reclaim on the phone today, and Gary is excited, excited about deer season. Of course, you know, he's already gotten one this year, and we were talking about snowing, and man, when it's snowing, you and it's it's so quiet in the, in the woods, uh, and you hear the snow falling, you actually hear snow falling. And then all of a sudden you hear a deer crunching through the snow and you look up and you see this big gray, you know, ghost going through the woods and you're, and you're looking for these big white bones on top of their head. <sighs> deer hunting in the snow. Yeah. I can't wait. So even if I get a doe, I want to get one more deer this year. It'd be three for the year. I got one. Jin Jin got one. And, um, uh, Hopefully I can get one more. Uh, White Rock Homestead. I used to hunt in the snow in, in Michigan all the time. Way better to see there. Yeah, dude, I love it. I think I think it's so fun. It's so fun. Um, Jamie wants uh, Jamie O'Rourke wants snowshoes. <laughs> Hopefully I won't need snowshoes down here, but uh, uh, it, it, they're fun. They're fun though. I've, I've used them up north before. Uh, Paul says I cut my own hair. It's called a shave on top. That's right, Paul. I, I've seen pictures of you, buddy. Let's trade paint. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming in. Glenn and Shannon Salty Life. Joe Bonamassa playing in Biloxi at the Bow Ribbage. Bow Ribbage on March 8th and 9th. You guys need to head down. Woo! Thanks for that. Philip W. Ryder. Hello. MG Erie PA. Me, me, me. <laughs> How you doing there, MG? Thanks for coming in. Uh, White Rock says, I used to... Oh, I just read that one. Um, dun, 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 move down. One second. Tim, you might need ice shoes. Ugh, I can't stand the ice. I'll take snow over ice any day. I mean, oh. And the board says she's still in bed. Not sure if it snowed in northern Indiana. Ah, man, snow's been going all over. Storms, too, down there in, in the south, uh, southeast. Betty Jean Heinsohn, how you doing? Good to have you in here, girl. Thanks for coming in so, so much. Um, let's see. Rebel Hearts in here. Thank you very much. 187.98 thumbs up. Let's see here, guys. Um. Who's played Uno? Raise your hand if you played the card game Uno. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna settle something. I talked about this once before on a ramblings, but I want to talk about it here on Ridge Live. Who's played Uno? Okay, Antian and Dots played. White Rock, Susie has. Anabor, Big Waves played. Okay, okay. T Mike's played. Um, uh, John's played. David's played. Anime. Okay, all right. So a lot of you played um, Uno. And in Uno, uh, there's the rules we played for by forever. And apparently, these kids nowadays on their phones, they've got a version of Uno called Crazy Eight, uh, and it's very, very similar to Uno. It's called Crazy Eight, though. And a lot of people are taking the rules from that Crazy Eight and moving them over to Uno. I, this, I'm, 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 I'm guessing this. I'm making this up. Tundra Jason says, "I can't beat total silence. All I hear is ten thousand hertz noise." Ooh. Atasha Lynn, hello, hello. People make their own rules. They sure do. They sure do. But in this crazy eights game, you have you have what's called stacking draws. So you get a draw two or a draw four. So if someone lays a draw two on you, you can lay a draw two next, and draw four goes to the next person, and they can lay a draw two, and draw six goes to the next person. Or a draw four and a draw four, that's eight. And a draw four, that's what? 16, no. Yeah, 16, three times eight, 24, 24. I can't add. Uh, <laughs> 16, 24. Uh, and that's just crazy to me. I guess that's why they call it crazy eights. 
Cre crazy eight and Uno are two different games. I know, Antian, it's crazy. Um, but the reason I bring up crazy eights is I played it for the first time Friday night. Jin Jin came over Friday night, and um, we love playing card games. Jin Jin and I love playing card games. We play Phase 10, we play Uno, we play uh, King's Corner. Uh, just, just love playing card games. Well, her daughter Lauren lives over there in middle, south, central, western Arkansas. <laughs> the big area there, wasn't it? And Rook, there you go. I don't know if I've ever played Rook, Auntie Ann. I've heard of it. I don't know if I've ever played it. But anyway, um, yeah, Dana Mason, love Phase 10. Hey, Dan and Tim. Um, yeah, better chance of getting Uno at Jaw 16. Strip Crazy 8s? No, we did not play Strip Crazy 8s. <laughs> Dutch Blitz. But um, so her daughter lives over there in, in Arkansas, and uh, we wanted to play together. So we played, uh, I'm reading the chat here, guys. You guys are hilarious. Uh, we played Crazy 8s. So I was on my phone sitting right here. Jen Jen was on her phone sitting on the other side of the table here. And Lauren's in Arkansas where she is, and we're playing Crazy 8s. Now, Lauren's name on the game was called Chevy because she drives a Chevy. They're Chevy people. You know me, I'm a Ford person. So I changed my name from Timifer to Ford Rules, right? Ford Rules, Chevy Drools. And uh, Jen Jen's playing over here. And um, man, I'm pretty lucky. We're like three to nothing to nothing, three games into it. I'm like, yeah. Chevy, you lose. Ford rules. Yeah. And then Jen Jen starts to her winning streak. Oh my goodness. Then it ends up being like four to four. These are fours, by the way, ends up being like four to four, me and Jen Jen tied. And then all of a sudden Lauren drops out. I don't remember what happened, but I just know that Chevy, Chevy couldn't take it. Chevy left the game. Okay. Sorry, Chevy Ford rules. Drew's land Chevy hasn't called me about my recalls. Oh yeah. Yeah. I got two recalls on my Harley Davidson. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Isn't it? Two recalls on my Harley Davidson. I, don't, I didn't get a recall on my Ford because my Ford wrecks. Mine was post axle problem. They caught it. They caught mine uh, before that or after that. Actually, uh, they got some technical service bulletins for like the dash computer and stuff, you know. So I got some updates coming for that on the on the uh, F two fifty, but 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 no recalls, no recalls that I'm aware of for my for mine. Jeep here says Anabor. I love a Jeep. I love a Jeep. Her trans crazy John. Her transmission went out. There you go. <laughs> That's it. She couldn't drive. Jennifer Rogers. She's so competitive. She was probably tired of losing. I would be too if I was her and driving a Chevy. <laughs> Uh, Tundra Jason, Tim, we don't want to get into Chevy versus Ford considering I'm a Toyota guy. Toyota makes a very, very good uh, car, right? Toyota Camry, right, Jin Jin? Uh, Toyota makes a very good car. Truck, the Toyota Tacoma. That's a, that truck will last you forever. But Tundra, I don't know about that Tundra now. It's a pretty high dollar machine, and I don't know. <laughs> He's Tundra Jason for a reason, right? On the end, uh, no recalls, just no AC right now. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurt. Oh, Auntie Ann, I'm pulling that stake out right here. That hurt. Oh, <laughs> it's a Ford. You don't need recalls. You just need to go from point A to garage. <laughs> That's about right. That's all right. Tundra looks good. Jin Jin's always liked the Tundra. I remember her telling me that. She likes that, that new Tundra. Uh, I, I'm not a Tundra guy. I like Tundra Jason, though. Does that count? Tundra Jason rocks. Ford trucks and blue tractors just feels right, says White Rock Homestead. Mm, that's right, buddy. That's right. Um, Dot Roper says, I know at Rayo Jonesy on tour, I was asking if you wanted company since it's nice there. Oh, nice. Got a silver 07 Mustang GT in mint shape, says Robert. Wow. Very nice. Mark Robinson is old blue in the bulldozers video. Ha, ha, ha. Hmm. Old Blue is not in the bulldozer video. It's all bulldozer, all cast, my, my bulldozer operator. Um, guys, there is a bulldozer video, and uh, cast is my dozer operator. I got drone footage. I got uh, GoPro footage. I've got uh, two GoPro footages, and I've got a Sony camera. I got four cameras 
for like 16 hours. I've whittled it down to less than nine now. Um, and uh, I got some big news coming up here. Wow, for we're 30 minutes into this, I think it's about time for some big news, don't you think? Anybody want some beans spilling? Anybody want some beans spilling? So, told you guys that um, 2024 is going to be a big year. Big, big year. I uh, made an appointment with a financial analyst, uh, advisor, for what my retirement looks like. I've uh, got the list of uh, the people I need for the well, the septic, uh, all those type of things. Got that list ready. And I contacted the heavy frame, heavy timber frames provider, right? That The same company that did um, Grandma Carol's Log Home. Uh, it's uh, um, Honest Abe Log Homes out of Moss, Tennessee. And I contacted Mr. Dan. I talked to him before. He's one of you know, our salesmen for for Grandma Carol's log home. And um, Nan's like, hey, Tim, how you doing? Good to talk to you. I said, Mr. Dan, I'm, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to do a timber frame uh, home. He said, oh, that's awesome. He said, Tim, your videos that you put out building Grandma Carol's uh, log home, we've seen traffic. You know, they, they put uh, uh, Grandma Carol's log home and my channel on their monthly newsletter one time. And then my... Um, uh, log home build start to finish and my how much it cost to build a log home video about a million views um they liked them and traffic was driven their way because of it uh lila newton oh tim we believe you we're just picking on you can't wait to see what you put together absolutely lila no i understand i'm just letting y'all know it's it really is there and we're getting close to the time you're gonna see it okay because this this big news right here right uh anabor hitting a keyboard by accident i feel you i feel you Tim, Tim's on a high-speed Tesla chat. Woohoo! <laughs> so I talked to Mr. Dan. Mr. Dan says, Mr. Tim, I love your videos, and that's really awesome. Um, he says, um, you know, you're planning on doing this by yourself, and, you know, I, I've already said a hundred times, I'm not a carpenter, constructor, or builder, uh, but I'm going to try to do as much as I can. He said, we've got something that may facilitate that, Mr. Tim. I said, what's that? He says, we have, we're a family owned company out there in Moss, Tennessee, and they, they acquired another product, Eco Panels of Tennessee. And I'm like, what's a, what's that? He said, have you ever heard of a SIP? I'm like, uh, Mississippi SIP, uh, three Mississippi down in the SIP. He said, no, no, no. We're talking about a structural insulated panel. And, uh, proof is in the showing. Absolutely. I understand you, Paul. Um, no cyber trucks here, man. I ain't no cyber truck, dude. Uh, um, when it does come out, it's going to be a little sad. Ah, yeah, and Auntie Anna's probably not going to be that good a video either. I definitely will premiere it uh, just for the fact that it's the dozer video, but it's probably going to just be a lot of dozers, you know, and aerial footage of dozers and, and GoPro footage of dozers and a little, little bit of me talking about a dozer, you know. Is Cass same as Todd? No, Cass is the man. Uh, Brooke Burke. Hey, Brooke. Cass is the man. Um, so they acquired Eco Panels of Tennessee, and it's a structural insulated panel. I have no idea what that is, Mr. Dan. What is that? He said, "Oh, it's it's a it's it's you know a lot of people are using them right now, and um, they are um, panels that you your walls are formed out of that the inside has OSB." It's uh, polyurethane closed cell foam insulation between an outer board, which can now be zip boards. You know what Mel and Gary have on the outside of their house and the roof? Zip panels, zip boards. I'm like, oh my goodness. So no house wrap, uh, no studs, no having to do insulation, no having to do the inner, inner boards. It's all together. They, they pre-run the electrical for you inside the walls. These boards fit together like Legos or an Ikea furniture. And they've got cam locks. And you, you glue the seams and you cam lock them together. And they're three to four times stronger than a standard stick frame wall. Isn't that crazy? I'm like, how is that possible? I've been doing tons of research on SIPs. Uh, lot, lots of actually YouTube channels, some other YouTube channels that have been building off-grid homes because these are very eco. They're like, they create an encapsulated, 100% uh, 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 airtight uh, dwelling. 
And uh, so you get a tax deduction from the government for an eco, uh, you know, house, and which I'm, you know, not, it's not green or anything, but I guess it is green. It's very, very low cost to, uh, to uh, heat and cool. Um, but uh, there's several channels out there that have already built these SIP houses. And uh, so I'm, I'm very excited to be maybe one of them because mine is going to be a uh, timber framed barn dominium. So it, if you remember what the old Ridge barn looked like, you know, tall in the center, sloped on the side, that center is going to be about 16 to 18 feet wide, 40 feet long. Going to be the living room and the dining room, be one giant great room, barn dominium, tall, like 20 foot ceilings with the rafters, the big heavy timber rafters, then off to the side, an open kitchen, an open office. Then I'll have a couple uh, 12 by 16 bedrooms and bathrooms and stuff. But anyway, the interior are going to have those big timber frames, the timber frame, cross members, timber frame outside be all these sips. Goodness gracious guys. I'm excited. So, uh, Lincoln Log House. Very, very cool. Yeah. It's uh, like an Ikea Lincoln Log House. Um, are they expensive? Yeah. The uh, Christie Betts. They, these SIPs, because the, the the they're about 10 to 20% more expensive than a regular stick frame construction. But you think about this. Uh, unless you're doing it 100% yourself, like Mel and Gary or, or uh, David from Come On Home Setting, um, these SIPs come pre-made and it's your house comes and you put your house together. So you ain't got to do the stick frame, then the insulation, then the house wrap or the OSB, then the house wrap or the zip board. You ain't got, you know, they're not, it's all in one step. Okay. It's pretty, pretty crazy. And uh, it's something to do it yourself or can definitely do at a very, very high quality, very, very high quality. Um, well, banks up there finance them. Oh yeah, it's just it's yeah, it just it's uh it's very very well. I'm not I'm not doing financing. I'm 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 doing self self finance through my my retirement. I'll, I'll talk more about that in a minute. But yeah, yeah, they're uh they're more and more uh, uh people are understanding what SIPs are. They're the government gives you a twenty five hundred dollar tax deduction by for doing them because they're so energy efficient. Yeah, a lot of uh, areas. Uh, in the Northeast and Northwest are preferring those type of structures now over a stick frame because you pretty much have to do a two by six stick frame to get even close to the insulation. The, the, the four and a half inch SIP is 26 R value. The six inch SIP is 40 R value. That's like double what a standard two by uh, two by four wall is or two by six wall. Isn't that crazy? And then of course they have the SIP roof panels too. So yeah. my goodness. Totally. Um, guys, this is funny. This is funny. Okay. I'll get back to the chat here. Um, Gary from Simple Life Reclaim, you know, he he is Mr. Overkill when he builds. All right. And, and I, I'm kind of like that. I called Gary today. Gary, you know, I talked to Mel and, and Gary said, oh, he, she said, oh yeah, call Gary anytime to pick his brain. So I called Gary to pick his brain today. Me and Gary talked for one hour, one complete hour. Yeah. I told Gary, he said, I said, Gary, I don't talk to anybody this long. I talked to David about once a day on the phone and uh, we don't talk for an hour usually though. And uh, Ginger and I, we, we do a lot of texting and stuff. Of course we talk in person, but I talked to Gary for an hour, Gary from Simple Life Reclaim. And we went back and forth on all this type of stuff. He, he's excited for the sips. He knows, he knows how, how they are. And he is basically building his house like a sip. He's sealing it so good and ha has that, that mindset. Um, very, very cool. Uh, Paul Honeyman, go six inch for downstairs and four inch for upstairs. I'm not doing upstairs, Paul. The 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 central 40 foot long by 16 to 18 wide is going to be one big open area. You know, 20 feet tall, open. That's, that's barn dominium. Then the side, uh, the sloped parts are going to be single story, you know, down below. It's not, not a two story barn dominium, but yeah. So down here, um, the, the, the 4.5 inch ship is equivalent or more than a six inch wall. So the only place they do six inch or eight inch, uh, are like way up North in, uh, above the, uh, Mason Dixon line. Uh, every, everyone down here in the South, you know, um, you can, uh, definitely the, uh, the 4.5 inch ship, which is like doing a six inch wall down here. Um, 
Bar Run Forge, what's up, brother? Hope you're doing well. DD5, I haven't watched your video yet, but the pictures look like someone is flying, says Brooke Burke. Gary's my kind of builder, says Anime. I know it. He is a, he is a sharp cookie. Christy Betts, this way, uh, Tennessee weathers has been extra insulation will be wonderful. Yes, very. Matter of fact, these things are so well insulated, you're required to do one of those um, 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 recirculating HVAC systems where it pulls some of the outside air in. Um, I forgot what that's called. Um, Dave, uh, Gary knew exactly what it was. He's going to do it his his house where it pulls some outside air in to give you fresh air in because the uh, the SIP house is fully encapsulated. Um, there are no studs. There's the inside board, four inches of foam, and the outside board. And so it's foam all the way through the corner. There is zero breaks, no thermal bridges. Um, the insulation value of a two by four is like a two, R2 or R3, right? And every 16 inches, you've got a, a, a two by four that touches the inside and outside board. It's called a thermal bridge. So all those heat losses in and out, in and out. Whereas this SIP panel is insulation the entire length all the way around. It is so crazy. So crazy. Glenn and Shannon Salty Life. Oh, heck, I'm sorry. I was too far away to hear exactly what you were talking about. I thought you were talking about a metal building. No, it's my barn dominium. I'm doing these SIP, structural insulated panels. Very, very cool. Lorenzo knows what they are. They're pretty big. Need a crane to install. Well, um, they actually make them in more manageable sizes. Uh, my outside walls, except for the center where the big barn dominium front and back are going to be, are going to be probably eight or nine foot. Um, so, uh, and, 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 you know, there's no two by fours in there. It's just half inch wood on either side. And with the foam in the middle, they're, they're actually very manageable. And I've got a tractor, remember, with the forks on the front. So I think I'm going to be doing this good. I think we're going to do it. Tundra Jason. Okay. How stiff is this stuff? Hanging TVs in the wall such. I'm glad you asked. The SIP board, half inch, four inch, half inch, has wood the entire length, right? A, a uh, 16 on center two by four wall, or even a two by six wall, every 16 inches, you've got a board going up. So you don't have anything in between those 16 inches. Whereas on a SIP, you've got board the entire way. Technically, vertically talking, a SIP is 10 times stronger crush strength than a two, than a uh, standard stick frame wall. 10 times stronger crush strength. That is crazy. 10 times. Now, um, because it's half inch, and if you want uh, put to hang your cabinets up and TV, like Tundra's saying, um, and all your electrical and all that stuff, you design that. They take your drawings and they build headers in where your cabinet's got to go and your TV is going to go and they put the receptacles in everyone. You already have the chases and the, the fit, the, the boxes and everything. So you ain't got to put the boxes in the, in the, in the conduit in it's all inside the wall. Isn't that mind blown? So what you're going to put a TV right there. They put a big, a big two by or a, a, a two by six in the wall. They come with a uh, top plates on them. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's pretty amazing. Lorenzo, SIPs are placed between six by six or eight by eight timbers. They look beautiful with the timbers when you're done. That's exactly what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. Hopefully it's fire resistant. It is very fire resistant. They've got video of them, you know, torching the polyurethane foam. Yeah. Now it's not as good as drywall, obviously, but I'm not doing any drywall in this house. It's going to be all um, eight by eight and six by eight timbers. And then these SIP panels I'll have a conventional foundation. Uh, the SIP panel roof. Um, talk, talking about some colors, and I'm way, way before colors and stuff, but just want to get you pick your guys. Uh, oh, Susan Spencer, no, it's got on conventional foundation. That way I can get under and do all the HVAC and plumbing and electrical myself. You know, uh, we did Grandma Carol's log cabin that way um, with on a conventional foundation. That way I can get under and do everything that I need to get done. And it's very, very convenient. I've been under her house several times. Um, Tundra Jason, that's it. I'm building an underground bunker. Hey, that's, yeah, pretty sweet. Oh, thank you, Lorraine. Appreciate that. Um, hand Forge hardware and such. Wink, wink. There you go, Bar and Forge. Oh, yeah. Tro Troy, you'll definitely have to be coming down and visiting me, won't you? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, so, yeah, they'll, they'll put all of the conduit, the fittings, the you know, all that stuff, and uh, they, they supply all the fitting, all the uh, fasteners. They supply the the, the foam gun, all the foam. Um, 
So I contacted him again today, Mr. Dan, and he is working on a estimate for me, just an initial estimate on what I, the blueprints I showed him. They haven't, you know, it cost $2,500 to draw up the blueprints. We're just in the estimation phase. So I called Fidelity, my 401k today, and I have got a uh, pre-authorization for the withdrawal. So I do, all I got to do now is get the quotes um, and get the quotes in writing, get them submitted to Fidelity, and they'll go through my plan, and I will have that withdrawal. And I'll get to start putting the money down and getting these things rolling. And guess what? That means a dozer video is coming, okay? That means a dozer video is coming. I'm pretty sure I'm going with Sips anime. That's that. That's really looks like it's where it, where it is. Where's Jin Jin? She's back at home in Arkansas. She she has to work during the week. I miss her too. There sunset walks. I miss her. Miss her for sure. Cully Texan roaming the gaps between the Sips is always fun. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, I don't. I miss that. Let's see here. Do do do. Uh, Tundra Jason Melangary always beat you to it, Brooke Burke. Uh oh. All right. Jin Jin is in the chat. That's right. Tree Haven says Dozer. What's up, Jess? Come on in, buddy. So Tim will be having withdrawals. I have withdrawals all the time from the Jin Jin. Yeah, we we talk, we send each other pictures, we um, send kissy faces and all that stuff. Yeah, Tim Tim's romantic. I am. I am. She's Jin Jin. I'm Tim Tim. By the way, together we are what's called known as Timifer. <laughs> David's rolling over in his, in his bed right now somewhere. Oh, Timifer. <laughs> it just cracks me up every time I hear it. <laughs> Jin Jin, Tim Tim, and the Timifer. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lila. Appreciate you, sister. Um, so, yeah, contact the Fidelity. Get the ball rolling on withdrawal. Now, think about this withdrawal. I got to pay a 10% early penalty to withdraw my 401k. But if I was to get a um, construction loan, what's the rates right now on construction loans for quarter million bucks. I, I'd pay more than 10% over the life of the construction loan. So the 10% penalty I'm going to pay on the 401k withdrawal is going to be less than the plus the, less than the, the, the interest on the, on the loan. Plus, I don't think the market's going to stay high like it is. So if I take it out now while the market's high, that 10% penalty is going to be washed. I, I, that's my feeling. That, that's my feeling. I'm not going to tell you the market's going to crash, but I'm going to get some money out now so I can build me a house. David Moppet, Tim Tim. Timifer no longer needs Jen. He adopted that name. No, 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 no. Jen Jen is all her. I, I need the Jen to make the Timifer, okay? You got to have the Jen to make the Timifer. Otherwise, you're just Tim Tim. <laughs> all right, let's see what else I had on my list here. David, I got a list. Um. Another big milestone coming up, guys, on Ridge Life. We are this close to 30,000 subscribers. 30,000 subscribers. Isn't that crazy? I, I remember hitting the first 100. I've been doing this about four years now, three and a half, four years. I remember hitting the first 100. I remember hitting the first 500. I remember hitting the first 1,000. I remember here's the first 5,000, the 10,000, the 20,000, the 25,000, and now almost 30,000 subscribers. And guys, there's 229 people in here, 141 thumbs up, and I love every single one of you that sit around and talk to me every Tuesday night, that watch my few and far between videos on Ridge Life right now, all my ramblings that I put out every week where I just sit down and do more of this talk right here. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So, so much. Drew's 200 away from 12K. Woohoo! Rocking it. Goodness gracious. Michigan Life about the 45th almost at 2K. I remember 2K, man. You can be there. You can be there. Um, Anna Bohr says, I have eight people subscribed and I don't even know who they are. <laughs> Um, but 30,000 guys, 30,000, I just, it's just, it's just a, a crazy thing for me. So I, I really hope that um, this year, 2024 sees huge changes. Thank you, anime. I would like to get the dozer video out, get the money for the build, get the barn built, get the road out to the barn dominium, get the barn dominium land cleared get the uh, foundation put in, get the septic, get the well, get the sips and timber frames ordered and start building a, a, a barn dominium. 
That's gonna be a, now that barn to is going, even though the sips are quicker, it's still a journey, guys. I'm 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 just one man and I still am working. I can't retire just yet. I can't retire just yet. Hey, what's up there? Uh Mac and Patty, Southern Blessed Homestead. They go live after us at 8 p.m. Make sure you go check out Southern Blessed Homestead. But yeah, yeah, it's it, this this year uh is gonna be crazy. Of course, of course, I'm gonna be um Visiting the 41.36, come on mountain, tons and tons over visiting Drew and Jeff and Lindsay, hopefully some MT homestead. Good to see some more family friends. I'm going to be going up here in February to Niagara Falls, going to Vermont and Connecticut, do some snowmobiling. Jen Jen's going to go with me. We're going to see the natural bridge there in Virginia. Virginia is for lovers, by the way, in case you didn't know that. Jen Jen, you know that Virginia is for lovers. That's why we're stopping there. Um, just think about that. We're going to Virginia for Virginia's for lovers. Vermont is a romantic state and we're going to Niagara Falls. Ooh, woo. Woo. <laughs> I'm going to make a good time. Jen says she didn't know that. The Adirondacks there. That's right, Melissa. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate you. Um, guys, I've talked to, uh, I talk to the family a lot, you know, um, Melanie and, uh, Gary, Gary doesn't talk too much, you know, text and phone and stuff, but you know, he, we're in this family group chat thing and he's in there and Anthony and Roxanne and, uh, Melissa and Mike and, um, uh, Drew and Lindsay, of course, lots and lots of other fun family friends. And guys, this year is going to be amazing. We've got the, Red River Valley, Arkansas meetup coming in May. Who raise your hand if you're going to the Red River, Arkansas Valley meetup? It's it's what was going to be the Mid America meetup part two, the Framley edition. It is now, I believe, called the Arkansas Red River Valley, something like that. Arkansas Valley. There you go. Arkansas Valley meetup. I get it right eventually. Who's going? White Rock's going. There you go. I know Drew and Lindsay's going. All of the family are amazing, says Linda Booker. You got that right. Butler Farm Fam says they're going. All right. Paul Honeyman, I wish you could go. I really would do. David Moffat, are you going to Mama V's Possum Run roof raising party? I wish. Can't do it. Can't do it. Auntie Ann says, I'm going. River Valley, Arkansas River Valley. That's right. Tree Haven, Jess, you know you're going to be there, right? Pearly May. Animore's going. Hat Creek says she'll be there. Dawn. Big D's going. Atasha will be there. What? Crazy John says he wishes he could. We're going to try, says Troy, Bar Run Forge. Philip W. Ryder, you can, you kind of all have the snow. In, you can haul the snow. It was stationed two years in uh, Brunswick, Maine, and uh, Alaska. Information on the, oh, yeah. Um, Jin Jin says, oh, what'd she say? Hold on. Paul, I live on the edge. She sure does. She sure does. Um, uh, Big Way Forward is going to try. Nice, nice. Arkansas River Valley Meetup. Thank you, Rebel Heart. I knew I'd get that. Someone get that right for me. Paul Honeyman is going, or we wish. That's right, Brooke. David Moffat says, not this year. I did get to see David at last year's, and it was amazing. I love that. David was a really cool dude. I really appreciate David giving me the Timmer for stickers, and it was just really nice to get to meet him. Uh, Dana Mason, as long as Tim can. Oh, well, I hope, I hope Tim can make it there, Dana. Yeah. You two guys are definitely, uh, going to be, uh, uh, well, uh, received if you can, we'd appreciate seeing you. Um, my space is next to Tim says Auntie Ann. That's right. I believe mine is, uh, 10 space 10. I believe Dawn is here and Auntie Ann's here. I believe I'm between Dawn and Auntie Ann, if I'm not mistaken. I believe Dawn's got two spaces. Lorraine Gordon, me and my husband have been to Niagara Falls in the summer, but we still want to go in winter. Yes, Lorraine, I've been there twice, once in the spring and once in the summer, and this will be my first winter excursion. I've seen pictures, and it looks pretty. Tundra Jason says, what is the date? I believe it's May 20th and 21st, 19th, 20th and 21st, something like that, Tundra Jason. Atasha Lynn says, 18 and a half hour drive. Wow. Mark Robinson which says, I wish I could. I really, really wish you all could. It's going to be so, so fun. May 17th through 19th. There it is. Drew Lens. So if you're watching this in the replay or uh, even now, uh, later on, if you go down in the comments 
And if you are familiar with any type of these um, SIPs, and you've got some uh, insight for me, some suggestions on things to look out for, to ask questions to ask. Now is the time to do it. Over the next couple of weeks, um, while I'm working on getting this quote and this estimate on my uh, on my SIPs package, um, I, I really want your input. Okay, Tim, you need to do this. Tim, make sure you do this. Okay, I, I'm requesting it. So I'm not going to be one of those YouTube guys that say, "Ah, eh, yeah, you guys are always trying to tell me what to do." No, 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 no. I'm asking, what should I do? I am not a builder. You know, I don't have the experience that David has and and um, Gary has now, or even Anthony. Anthony's gained a lot of experience building. You know, and. Um, Mike from uh, DD5 has got a lot of experience in uh, construction. He does HVAC and everything. So he's been around a lot of construction as well. So uh, um, I know Drew does. Goodness gracious, Drew can do anything. Um, so please, yeah, Butler uh, Family Farm was telling me last night. Uh, they, they knew a lot about him. So, yeah, uh, please, please just email me, message me on Facebook. If you Hopefully you're friends with me on Facebook. Uh, Tim Life or uh, Tim Life. Tim, Tim Roberts or Ridge Life. Uh, Tundra Jason, ha, I left the Ford out. What? Why would you do that with the emojis? That silver Ford's like the bomb, the bomb diggity. <laughs> they are very good and go up fast, says Butler Family Farm. Awesome. That's like that's exactly what I need right there. Uh, Butler Family Farm. Oh, yeah, I appreciate you, man. Um, so, yes, please, guys, if you're watching this, uh, um, input. Tim, you need to do, you need to be, oh, you, your barn dominium needs to be at least 18 feet wide down the center because you're not going to have room for a couch and a, uh, a, a, a wood stove and the doors. You need to be 18, not 16. Our Tim, 16 is just fine. Make sure you go 20 foot hall or, or make sure your kitchen's this big. Make sure your bathroom's this big. Make sure, oh, Tim, you know, I want to know these things. Okay. I, I'm serious. I will, I won't be going, oh, these people are telling me what to do. I promise. I need to know these things. I'll be showing you drawings here. Maybe on the next live, I'll show you my drawings. And if um, if um, uh, Honest Abe is giving me uh, some preliminary uh, drawings, I'll show you what what they've given me. But uh, I definitely have my drawings to show you. Uh, I made a few changes to them since you saw them last. Dana Mason, Tim can be an electrician if he's able to, after his treatment. Absolutely, I, I'm electrical too. Um, again, I, I plan on doing solar, uh, solar and propane generator, solar. Uh, about 20 kilowatt, 24 kilowatt solar system and a big, uh, probably a Generac uh, propane generator. Uh, let's see. Uh, Melissa, YouTube channel, Perkins Brothers in North Carolina. They are a great custom builder, have answer from start to finish from uh, to build ASAPs in step one. Awesome. Thank you very much for that, Melissa. Uh, Ace, Pearly May, me too. Wish I could uh, would make my uh, make my year to meet all the groovy folks and the other ones too. <laughs> I'm one of the other ones. I'm, I'm not one of the groovy ones like Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, Groovy Egg Farm. Well, actually, Bobblehead now. Um, all I know is Todd is not invited to the meetup, says Brooke. That is so true. No Todds. No Todds allowed. Definitely a master of none. That is me. That is me. I am, I am a jack of all trades and a master of none. <laughs> actually, I'm pretty good electrical. I'm pretty good electrical. While Jin Jin says it's so easy, even Tim could do it. Uh, she knows me then. She knows me well. Linda Booker, I can't wait to see it. It sounds fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. Guys, it is 57.54 into this hour, and I appreciate every single one of you. Real Talk with SLR comes in at the end for the win. <laughs> uh, Real Talk with SLR. Uh, actually, why are they not a moderator? Ooh. Add as moderator. Boom, but boom, boom, boom. There you go. Um, just telling how everybody I was talking to Gary for an hour today and he gave me so much good input. I appreciate Mel for letting me borrow Gary for an hour. And uh, Gary and I were going to be talking a lot more because uh, we were picking each other's brains. It was more my picking his brain, but it was a good talk. I really appreciate it. So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed evening. Make sure you're going over to um, Mac and Patty over at Southern Blessed Homestead. They are live in one minute and 15 seconds. So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Enjoy yourself. Work hard. 2024 is here. Love y'all. Go right side. Hot mic. <laughs>